Hello everybody, Raven Knight here, and welcome to another map tour. Today we are going through the harbor map, and we're going to be playing as Deborah the Black Prior to go through this tour, because if y'all don't remember, the harbor map was first introduced with the Black Prior season, so I think it only makes sense to have a Black Prior give us the tour. How do you guys like Deborah? Y'all like Deborah? Let me know in the comments if y'all still enjoy Deborah and if you'd like to see a sequel with her story. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get started. This is a Defender Stomp starting point in Dominion. You look here and you see the giant double doors that would leap into the city. And here we see the area where the defenders would spawn. Now, something interesting about this setup is it looks like this could be a trading hub. This looks like a place where people could come in from the port, enter the city from here, and do trade. We have a um, stable here where we're keeping donkeys, which probably means they're either sold or used for moving carts of equipment and stuff. Um, and if you step back a ways, if you step away from the gate and look back at it, you can see that there are guard posts up along the walls here and along the parapet. So, and you also see these holes, which are archer windows, so just in case you have an invasion, you have archers from all sides able to open fire, which I think is very helpful. You have a crane up there that can lift lumber and timber up very quickly and easily. So all this is really, really cool. So let's head over this way. I want to start my tour by going around the map, and then we'll go to the center. Here we have our walkway to Zone C in Dominion, of course. I want to show you guys something cool you may have never noticed. This is actually something really awesome. Want to see something cool? Look at this. Now, many of you who have gone to Zone C in this map will probably know this little sneaky exit way here where you can come over and attack the people fighting in Zone C or drop down on them from up here. Y'all already know all about this. Well, there's some stuff about this you may not have noticed. First of all, take a look at this. If you look out this window, you can see another set of double doors which lead out further into the city. It looks like this may be... And if you look through this window, you got to look very carefully, but you can see the city rising up. So you can tell that this is going um, uphill into the mountains as the city rises higher. So you can actually see kind of the topography of the city from here. It looks really cool. Um, and you can also look out that way and see a few more buildings off in the distance so you can get a sense of how far this goes. We come along down here and we head into the marketplace area, again implying that this place was once used for trade, because if we come down to the marketplace you see all these stalls and vendors, like this looks like a, pl a blacksmith stall, this looks like a marketplace where you could buy food, you just saw a rat run underneath it, so they're drawn to the food, got plenty of potatoes or yams. You got uh, daikon or radishes. You got tomatoes here. Uh, you got a lot of stuff here meant for purchasing. No one here to sell. Looks like you got baskets and pottery for sale. It, it's it, This place was meant to sell items, and it's right next to where ships would come into dock, implying that at one point, Ashfeld was all about trade and sale. Now, if we come over here, we can also see other things for sale. We actually see a warlord shield sitting up there. Are we selling a warlord shield? That's pretty crazy. Or is that a hint for what's coming up next season? Uh, you never know. I doubt it. We have a meat shop over here for all you vegans in the audience, of course. We want to remember you guys, of course. We have a donkey for sale over here. It looks like he just got back from Pleasure Island. Timmy, no! Um, we have some fish here for sale and some crabs. Get that seafood going on because we got to please the samurai, of course. But now for the part y'all may not have expected. Check this out. That Y'all may find this funny. I think y'all will like this. This is something that many of you probably never knew, and once you do know it, it's probably going to really be shocking. Okay, come over here. You know this area? I was just introducing it earlier. Check this out. What if I were to tell you we're on a boat right now? That's right. We are on a boat. Did you think that giant ship right there was the only boat? No. Look that. Look right over there. See that walkway? That is a piece of it. That is a ship right there. And look underneath us. Do you see the bow of the ship? Here, I'll hop off. Take a look. See that? Yes, sir. This is a long ship. This is a long ship with a cover. Yeah, see that? This is actually a ship. Some of you may not have known that. You may have just assumed this was a part of a walkway. In fact, this isn't just any ship. This is a fishing vessel. You can see the fish laid out over here and the fish in the trapway. Keep the fish down there in the water so that they last longer and stay fresh longer. And I'm willing to bet that these ships were brought into dock and they were used to uh, deliver the fish for the marketplace, so that's probably what this ship was used for, but uh, it might not have left for a very long time because the harbor has suddenly been turned into a battle zone where people are fighting for this area. I think it would be very interesting to assume that this uh, harbor has become a very key point for people to try to conquer, so how do you like that? It's a pretty cool ship with a roof. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? All right, we got two lion statues here. One is totally pristine. The other one has, uh, well, he got a little ahead of himself, if you know what I'm saying. 
Now, if we look out over here, we can see that the harbor spans much further than just this spot. We see a ship over here that is burning up. We see what look like some uh, storage facilities over here, which the Vikings here could have attacked if they wanted to. And it seems to go even further off in that direction. Now, if we come over here, Notice how the front of this Viking ship has a spear on it, apparently meant for uh, Russia, uh, for uh, impaling another ship. You wouldn't see that historically, but again, this is an historical video. Now, we can step onto the boat here. We're standing on what looks like a Viking long ship, and this is the attacker spawn point. This is where the attackers would come from on Dominion. If you look out, you can see the palisades that have been set up in the harbor to prevent invasions just like this one. And you can already see that they've been at work. They've stopped a couple of ships here in the harbor, which is really, really cool. But take a look at this. Y'all may not have noticed this. Check out the ships over there. Now that we get a better look at them, you notice how they're different? Notice they're a different shape. They always look like Greek ships, don't they? Look at the way they're shaped at the front. Very different. I do find it very interesting that they took the time to make the ships of the knights look different from the regular uh, longboats of the Vikings. Now, of course, you won't see those kind of ships just everywhere, but I think that's a really, really cool uh, idea. I wish that they did that more often. Another crane carrying items, of course, of course. Now, if we come into this area right here, we got some stairs that probably lead up to the tower up there. That tower was probably once used as a defensive position to keep a lookout for invasions. All of this looks like storage, except for these. These look like giant mead barrels, don't they? Kind of crazy. <laughs> All right, let's head up over here. We're, we're going to walk on this ship now. We're going to walk on this ship. That's right. This is another ship. Many people probably didn't even think of these as ships. They're just so focused that they run right by it and don't even think about it. But yes, we are walking on another ship. I love the layout of this map. It's basically us running across to different ships. Now, over here <clears throat> is the giant boat that is being worked on, this giant ship. I think the purpose of this part of the harbor is primarily not just for trade, but also for ship building and repair. Because I think that the point of some of this is that it, they're trying to repair the ship. I think that they are trying to fix vessels so that they can be sent back out again. I think that's part of what's going on here, and I'll prove that when we get to zone A over there. So, check out how large this ship is. It's very, very big, larger than you'd probably expect, or probably would need it to be. There's the helm over there, so we know that this is uh, the back of the ship. Let's climb up to the top here. Now, you probably wouldn't see this on many ships, which is what makes me think that this is a repair process. Uh, most ships would not be structured this way. Um, you wouldn't have this bridge running across the top here. Um, but still, it, it kind of neat. Gives you a unique perspective on the map because, I mean, and if you're like, oh, how do you know that? Look at the sail. The sail couldn't drop down from here, could it? This looks like it was kind of thrown together to help repair something. Plus, you probably want a primary mast in the middle of this ship. There's no primary. You got these two um, masts over here, but you probably want a large mast in the center here, like kind of like what those ships have. Well, not that one, but that one right there. You kind of want a primary mast here, but we don't have one, so... Eh, take it for what it is. All right, let's climb back down. We, okay. So, let's head over here. Notice all the shields set up along the side here, kind of crazy. All right, so now, notice how this little ramp here to get at the top has wheels on the side, meaning that this isn't part of the original architecture. It was slid up there probably by the attacking army which is kind of interesting if the attackers were all the way over there how did they manage to get this ramp all the way over here without much effort kind of interesting unless it was always here maybe it was set up here by someone else but i doubt that it looks like stairs used to be here if you judge by the broken down uh stone here it looks like there used to be stairs here at one point now if we come over here we can actually see another viking ship that managed to get through the uh palisades and protection but you can also see the city. In fact, take a look at this. We can see it a little bit better from over here. Look at how big the city is. You can actually see it in the distance. You can see how big Eaton of Atman is and just how long and expansive it is. This looks like it was modeled to be some kind of um, Mediterranean city, which is pretty cool. I really like the look. Now we're coming into zone A here. Check this out. I think that this area is meant as primarily a shipping right center, I, a ship right center. I think this is made for repairing ships and uh, lumber. You can tell because over here it looks like we have a blacksmith forge area, but without the forge, you got a grindstone, you got an anvil, you got a slew of uh, uh, 
hammers and other such things used for repair. Uh, got giant gears here that probably go in to replace this sucker, which is probably meant to lift up ships or pieces of ships. And it actually looks like, uh, yeah, there are the gears over here running everything. Look at them spin. Look at that go. I love it. Um, now, we come over here. It looks like this whole wall has been blown out by a catapult or uh, a cannonball. And from the debris laying around on this side, it looks like the attack came from externally. But I don't see any of the ships with catapults or um, cannons on them. So, I don't know. Maybe a pirate did it. <laughs> um, we have a ship here that has hit the um, Palisades and is burning. We got another one that looks like it crashed as well. And others waiting their turn to run into them, apparently. Isn't that the best? So, we come over here. Looks like another uh, area that was blown away somehow because you notice that the rocks have been, that the rock and stone on the walls have been destroyed. And we got a little segment of the roof up there burning. So looks like this area has been destroyed. In fact, if you look up, y'all may not have noticed this, look up. Looks like the area above us is a walkway. It looks like you can walk around up there, see? So apparently there's multiple levels to this territory. Gotta love it. This is really cool. They put a lot of effort into making this look detailed and refined, which I can really appreciate. Now, check out them. Check out the figurehead there. Looks pretty cool, right? I like that eagle. Now we come across here. <clears throat> this looks like a giant two-section drawbridge. It looks like what this was designed to do is this drawbridge was designed to fold in half and then be pulled up on this side. But the chains holding up this end have been broken, so this drawbridge will never be drawn back up again. Unfortunate as that is. But as we walk along here, you can actually see the boats and ships even better from here. You can see oars on the back of this ship, which help paddle in the event that there's low wind. Or to, or to turn it if necessary. You can see just how wide this ship is in comparison to you. Really awesome. And then that brings us back around to the attacker spawn zone. And that pretty much concludes the tour. So, what did you guys think? How do you like the harbor map? Did you notice things here that you never noticed before? What did you like about it? Let me know down in the comment section below. I hope that you guys enjoyed having uh, Deborah here to give you the tour. And as always, I will see you in my next video. Take care.